Hi guys, how are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And this is going to be for the week of the 5th through the 11th of February. I hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. And if you check out my um, videos, the live ones, it'll explain to you why I was gone for a little while. But I hope you've been taking care of yourself. Okay? Don't forget about you. Every once in a while, we have to do that, you know. So I'll be using my Star Spinner Tarot Deck. And to clarify, I'll be using my Learning Tarot Cards. So Taurus, this is going to be for you. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Now this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius within your environment. It could be somebody from the past also because we're pulling out past energy. Oh, and the Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy. This is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And something is coming fast. Taurus, what's going on? You got decisions to make? Hmm. That's in the past, though. Let's see what happens. The Five of Wands. <clears throat> Some kind of conflict. And the four of wands. Things work out. Oh, you came out the same place last time. The nine of swords. Whatever is going on, you, you're thinking about this. You got a big decision to make. You have a big decision to make. And the four of coins. Learning how to balance everything that's going on. Stabilizing. Being kind of stingy, maybe, with something. Maybe money. Let's see. Strength. Got a lot of inner strength. You just found that out. And the Three of Swords. A broken heart, a betrayal, somebody lied about something, somebody, you feel like something betrayed you. Okay, Queen of Swords, let's clarify the Queen of Swords here. You got some decisions, Taurus. Ooh. You know I love you guys. <laughs> I sure do. Queen of Swords. The High Priestess, you need to use your intuition, darling. Hmm. This Queen of Swords is about mystery, too. You better watch it. And on top of her came the Queen of Wands. A fire energy. Leo, you are busy. 
So, all right. This queen of wands, that's like, okay. So the queen of swords is like a communicator. She loves to communicate, right? She, her communication can be pretty sharp sometimes, but she's well, she means well. And the queen of wands, she would appear twice. She's about the money. Show me the money. She's the businesswoman. The money manager. She's pretty generous too. And she is sexy. Not saying Gemini isn't either. <laughs> Ooh. And then here comes the four of um four of um pentacles again. You might be holding on to people or possessions. Things that you should be letting go. You can't hold on to something that doesn't want you to hold them. Okay. And here you are, Taurus. Got the King of Pentacles. You're very mature. You are very mature, not immature. Mature. <laughs> So the King of Pentacles, um, you're a good businessman or a businesswoman. Like I said, the kings are the action figures. So you're thinking the wheels are turning. Not too long ago, you started planning a business maybe, or you opened your own business or something to do with a business happened. Maybe that's where these other energies came from. And um, the Knight of Wands, some kind of passionate energy came towards you. You made a quick decision, didn't you? You made a quick decision with the Queen of Wands. It's okay. You human. And something came full circle. Something came to completion. I got the world card. Does it ring a bell? And the chariot, it came fast. Everything happened real fast. And it gave you a little extra burden here. I got the um, the Ten of Wands. You feel a little restricted now and you're longing. I got the Two of um, two of Wands here. It's like, you got a decision. You, you, you can go this way or you can go that way, right? You do have the choice. You're longing. You're looking out. You know, look at the card. So it's like looking out over the, you know, the water, the globe in your hand. You can stay or you can go. It's your choice. Something you're going to have. Um, I got the um, six of wands here as well. A lot of wands. A lot of wands. A lot of um, fire energy here. Something you're going to be, you can, well, you were victorious in whatever your decision was. But with that victory came the Five of Wands. Some kind of conflict. And it brought you, okay, so whatever decision you made. Brought you unified love. It might have had, of course, com conflict associated with the situation. But it brought you love. Outpouring of love. I got the Ace of Cups too. New beginnings with someone. A new relationship. New romance. And the Knight of Pentacles. Be patient. Okay, darling. Darlings. Be patient. Hmm. Patience. And the Four of Wands. Let's see. Got a lot of, um, a lot of fire 
around the Jew. Hmm. Okay. So on top of the four ones, where it's happiness, it's like joy, contentment. Here came the devil card. So why would this show up for you? It could be an addiction, depression. It could be mental health issues. It could be something that you're hiding. It could be being powerless over like overeating something that's bad for you um it could be a bad relationship it could be abusive it could be obsessing over someone it could be addicted to sex it could be many things then i got the nine of wands it's an ongoing battle for you this battle has been really tiring you out but darling, the wheel of fortune is right there, okay? You've got good luck on your side, and it's coming. So you keep you keep on doing you and taking care of this. You've been battling whatever this energy is, the negative energy is. You will be successful, okay? It's up to you. Totally up to you. How bad do you want it? So let's see here. The nine of swords. What's keeping you up? Is this what's keeping you up at night? You're thinking, you're judging yourself. I got the judgment card. You're being very, very hard on you. What do you think? That no one else is going through this? Don't do that to yourself, babies. Come on now, don't do that. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame anyone. It is what it is. You are working on it. The hermit. You're going within and you're taking care of you. Okay? You're soul searching. You are taking. You, you are fighting something here. Okay? And if you continue going the way you're going, you will be fine. All right? And it's going to feel... So maybe something might happen where you'll feel like you hit rock bottom. I got the Ten of Swords here. Um... <clears throat> Sometimes when, you know, when, when we, we get rid of the old, we end it. So that's like an ending. And then you start over. You begin a new, brand new. So maybe that's where you're going to be. Maybe you're going to break down or fail or hit the bottom somehow. Something is going to happen that's going to make you... Decide that, hey, this is going to be it. And the four coins here. And on top of that came the king of swords. This is a, um, this is an energy within your environment. Okay, this is going to be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, their communication is very straightforward. They're very intelligent. They're, um, hmm, it's a masculine person. This, this, this energy is a masculine person. The one up here was a feminine energy. That was the Queen of Swords. This one here. Or maybe the Queen of Swords is deciding to contact you. Whichever way, we'll see. Uh, something is going to have a new beginning. You got the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands. Something is going to give you inspiration. It's going to spark your... Have your juices flowing. Maybe not in that way. You know, your imagination, your creativity, you know. So, and then the five of wands. But you got to stop this, man. You This is the mindset of lack. You feel like you don't have. Look around and see all that you do have. It might not be exactly what you desire or see. But don't lose the dream. You hold on to it. And keep moving. You're in charge. And fortitude. On top of that came defeat. Why do you feel defeated? I got the Ten of Swords. You want to give up and walk away. Just want to say, Phew. And then here comes the King of Wands. What is going on here? I got the Queen of, Queen of um, Swords and the Queen of Wands. And now I got the King of Swords and the King of Wands here. 
<laughs> Remember these fire signs? They in charge, okay? They're in charge. What they say go. And with that, you will have a happy family. The Ten of Cups. Happiness, contentment, marriage. Ten of Cups. But along with that will come the broken heart. Sadness, loss. I got the Five of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. You feel, <clears throat> excuse me, unbalanced. You're not sure. However, at the end of the day and at the end of it all, you are above your challenges, okay? So whatever it is that you're going through, that's just a part of your life, okay? And you just go with the flow. Don't stay down in, in, in the low vibrations too long. Take care of you and love you and look out for you. And don't be too hard. I love you.